you're looking for a quick litmus test of your health, there's one indicator that can really help you out. Did you know your urine contains crucial clues about what's going on in your body? And yes, I know it's early and you're probably eating and we're talking about bodily functions, la 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 la. But it is a great place to start because you've probably already peed this morning. This is yet another reason I love talking to nurses because they are not squeamish about anything. This morning, Nurse Jake is here to guide us through what your urine really says about you. Hi. Hi, good morning. This what a fun a topic. It <laughs> is, you yeah. know what? And it's so important too because it can really tell a lot about your health. Yes. Let's start with basic biology though. Okay. Urine. What is urine? Urine is comprised of actually 95% water, mm -hmm. and then the remainder is composed of inorganic and organic materials that are excreted as waste after it's filtered through your kidneys. So these compounds, they can be things like proteins, ketones, sugars, hormones, and all of this stuff helps your healthcare professionals figure out what's happening in your body. Let's let's be honest, like when you go pee and you look and you're like, whoa, that's a weird color, or you've noticed something a little bit different, yeah. or like something a bit unusual. So we have a bit of a display yeah. okay so look at what's on the desk right i now. brought samples for you, you brought samples <laughs> i do have to point out that these are not actual samples of pee these we are we manufactured yeah. you made them yesterday <laughs> using some juices yeah. and other solutions yeah. so let's talk about uh, hydration and let's start with this one what does that tell you about yes. if you peed that color what is so that if you're peeing clear this means that you're well hydrated or borderlining on over hydrated in your system over hydrated yeah i mean it's really hard to be over hydrated you have to drink over like plus 20 liters of water in a day but it could dilute your blood enough that your sodium levels would go down mm -hmm. and that could become life-threatening but most of the times it just means you're well hydrated and it's clear okay is this yeah. what we consider normal then the one next to it yeah so the second one would be normal urine we have a pigment in our blood called urochrome and our kidneys pull that out and that gives our urine the yellow color so if you're having normal urine it's gonna be a pale to mild yellow color okay so yeah. when we move on to the middle one Yes. We're starting to get a little bit more orangey. Yeah, dark. What does that mean? Dark orange or amber just means you're likely dehydrated. So again, we have that pigment. When we have enough water on board, it dilutes it. So when you have less water, when you're dehydrated, you're going to have a darker colored urine um, and more of that pigment is going to show and it's a clue and it tells you you need to drink more water. So when you see that, you're just drink more water. Yeah. Like, there you go, there's your yeah. indicator. I've got to tell you, if this happens, this one. Yeah. Like I'm thinking, a like it's a little more. ready, that's a red flag, is it? But the reason I laugh and why it can be a red flag and not is because there's lots of things that we consume in our diet, vitamins, medications that oh. alter the color of our urine. So I have to tell you the first time I ate beets oh, and I yes. went pee, it was yes. red and I freaked of out. Of course yeah. you did. <laughs> yeah. I've but been it's there too. Yeah, because of food. The time you want to be concerned is yeah. potentially if you didn't think that you ate anything that would alter the color, it could be a sign that there's blood in your urine and this is concerning. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then the cloudy one, our last one here, what does that tell you? Yeah, so cloudy urine can indicate a few things. The first thing is that it's often a sign of infection. So oftentimes when we have a urinary tract infection, a UTI, mm -hmm. or any sort of sexually transmitted infections, STIs, you're going to notice that their sediment or your urine is cloudy. Other things it can mean is just an excess of calcium or phosphate. And sometimes when you have kidney stones or diabetes, you'll notice uh, cloudy urine. Okay, I have to ask you yeah. about smell. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people talk about like I've eaten asparagus and then the the pee smells. Yeah, so is interestingly that, enough, yeah. research has shown that at least 40% of people can distinguish a slight smell in their urine after eating asparagus. Mm -hmm. But I have to tell you that odor is also another really great clue and indicator of what's going on with our health and wellness. So oftentimes when you have a fruity smelling urine, that could mean that fruity? there- Fruity? Yeah, because okay. that there could be sugars in your urine and that's yeah. a sign of type two diabetes. Mm -hmm. um, another type of odor that is uh, concerning is a foul smelling urine. And that can again mean that you have some sort of infection and you should go see your healthcare professional. Okay, so Nurse Jake, bottom yes. line, when should I worry? Good question. So as we talked about every day, our urine is gonna fluctuate depending right. on how much water we're drinking, the foods we're eating, any medications that we have on board, our vitamins. So what I suggest you do as a healthcare professional is really think critically. What did I eat today? What did I eat last night? And does the color or the smell of my urine reflect what I had in my diet? Mm -hmm. If it does, great, and if it goes back to normal the next day, awesome. But if the changes that you're experiencing are persistent, right? So if you, it's red and it's red for three or four days, right. if it's cloudy and that's ongoing, if it smells a little bit funky and that's mm -hmm. continuing, these are indicators of when you should be worried and go get assessed by your healthcare professional as soon as possible. This is fascinating. Yes. <laughs> what my PP says about Mimi. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Nurse Jake, always good to see you. Good Thanks so see much. You too. 
Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.